Let's talk about the power of being a Rotarian, especially as it relates to using the Rotary Foundation to its greatest potential. As you know, Rotary is a global network of 1.2 million friends, neighbors, leaders, and problem solvers who see a world where people unite and take action to create lasting change across the globe, in our communities, and in ourselves. Solving real problems takes real commitment and vision, and the Rotary Foundation can play a vital role. The Rotary Foundation focuses on seven areas in which we, as fellow Rotarians, want to make the most impact as an organization. So what can that mean for you and your club? It's actually twofold. One, by donating to the Rotary Foundation, you become a part of the good work Rotary does around the world. And two, the Foundation returns half of the amount back to your district for you and your club to use however you wish in one of the seven areas of focus. By concentrating on these seven areas, Rotarians can focus our efforts together, working as a whole. So choose your area of focus as a club, apply for the appropriate grant with your district, and go for it. Let's take a quick look at the Rotary Foundation's seven areas of focus before going into more detail about grants. Rotary wants to promote peace and encourages conversations to foster understanding within and across cultures. We train adults and young leaders to prevent and mediate conflict, as well as help refugees who have fled dangerous areas. We educate and equip communities to stop the spread of life-threatening diseases like polio, HIV and AIDS, malaria, and now COVID-19. We improve and expand access to low-cost and free health care in developing areas. We support local solutions to bring clean water, sanitation, and hygiene to more people every day. We don't just build wells and walk away. We share our expertise with community leaders and educators to make sure our projects succeed long-term. Nearly 6 million children under the age of 5 die each year because of malnutrition, poor health care, and inadequate sanitation. We expand access to quality care so mothers and their children can not only survive, but thrive. More than 775 million people over the age of 15 are illiterate. Our goal is to strengthen the capacity of communities to support basic education and literacy, reduce gender disparity in education, and increase adult literacy. We carry out service projects that enhance economic and community development and create opportunities for decent and productive work for young and old. We also strengthen local entrepreneurs and community leaders, particularly women, in impoverished communities. Supporting the environment becomes Rotary's seventh area of focus, which are categories of service activities supported by global grants. It joins peace building and conflict prevention, disease prevention and treatment, water sanitation and hygiene, maternal and child health, basic education and literacy, and community economic development. Once you've chosen your area of focus, your club is on its way to using the Rotary Foundation to its full potential and creating your own Rotary moment. Ask fellow members to share their stories of past humanitarian trips, and you'll see what happens when Rotarians take action to create lasting change. Our district went to Oaxaca, Mexico on a humanitarian trip, and plans are in motion to go to Costa Rica next. These are perfect examples of Foundation contributions coming back to our district and being turned into impactful projects. The question is, do you want a Foundation full of resources? The amount of money that the district makes available annually to the clubs varies from year to year. Depending upon the amount of money that Rotarians in the district contribute annually to the Rotary Foundation, the more that's given, the more is available to the district to fund community, vocational, and global grants. Now that you've been updated on the Rotary Foundation's seven areas of focus, let's explain how your donations come back to your club, essentially doing twice the good and getting a direct return on your contributions so you can make your donations count. Understanding how your money works within Rotary International and how to maximize it is essential in order to make you more comfortable and knowledgeable about giving regularly to the Rotary Foundation. The Rotary Foundation comprises three different funds. The Annual Fund, which is used to fund our global grants and district grants through the SHARE system. The Polio Plus Fund, which is used to fund our ongoing polio eradication project and is currently matched by the Gates Foundation 2 to 1. And finally, the Endowment Fund, which is the fund where the principal contribution is never touched, but the interest and or earnings are transferred to the other funds where they can do the most good. Let's look at Polio Plus first, where your contributions are matched by the Bill Gates Foundation 2 to 1. 
Rotary has been working to eradicate polio for over 30 years, and our goal of ridding the earth of this disease is in sight. We started in 1979 with vaccinations for 6 million children in the Philippines. Today, Afghanistan and Pakistan are the only countries where polio remains endemic. The plus in Polio Plus is our fight against many more diseases in addition to polio, including HIV AIDS, malaria, and now COVID-19. Polio Plus is still a worthy and vital cause, and one of Rotary's proudest accomplishments. The second fund within the Rotary Foundation is the Permanent Fund, which allows you to give a gift that will go beyond your life. The Permanent Fund enables individuals to combine their gifts into a significant force to address the world's greatest needs for generations to come. In a Rotary year, about $8 million in interest from the Permanent Fund is made available to support Foundation programs. Present earnings do not predict future returns and markets fluctuate, but the trustees of the Rotary Foundation keep very tight controls on the types of investments made and manage the fund conservatively. Permanent fund contributions can be made as a bequest in an estate plan, through your life insurance, or as an outright gift. The annual fund will be our main focus today, as it pertains most directly to grants. Your gifts to the annual fund are the primary source of funding for all foundation activities. You can choose to support our efforts year-round by making a recurring gift. You choose how often and how much you want to give. It's a simple and secure way to make a big impact. Now that you understand the three funds within the Rotary Foundation, the Annual Fund, the Permanent Fund, and Polio Plus, let's explore further how your consistent donations can transform over time into those community, vocational, and global grants from your district, right back to your club. It's important to get the ball rolling now on your regular contributions to the Rotary Foundation, because once the money you've donated to the Rotary Foundation comes back to your district, which happens every three years after it's been donated, it's divided into two funds, the World Fund and the District Designated Fund, giving your club two options as to how it would like to use those returns to make an impact on your seven areas of focus. Those two options are global grants to fund international projects and community grants for local projects. Your next step is to choose the grant that best suits your needs, a global grant or a district grant. What your club chooses to do with the foundation grants that return to your district is up to you. Global grants support large international activities with sustainable, measurable outcomes in Rotary's seven areas of focus. By working together to respond to real community needs, clubs and districts strengthen their global partnerships. Global grants can fund humanitarian projects, scholarships for graduate-level academic studies, vocational training teams, which are groups of professionals who travel abroad either to teach local professionals about their field or to learn more about it themselves. Global grants require projects with a minimum budget of $30,000. They must be sustainable projects within the seven areas of focus, as well as a collaboration among at least two clubs or districts outside of the U.S. Be sure and ask your committee chair for all the details of this highly impactful opportunity. District grants fall under two different categories community, and vocational grants, which are another great way for your club to utilize the money that comes back to your district from the Rotary Foundation. District grants fund small-scale, short-term activities that address needs in your community and other nearby communities. Each district chooses which activities it will fund with these grants. You can use district grants to fund local humanitarian projects, including service travel and disaster recovery efforts, scholarships for any level, length of time, location, or area of study, Youth programs including Rotary Youth Exchange, Rotary Youth Leadership Awards, Rotaract and Interact, as well as vocational training. Each year, the district makes available 50 community grants for up to $2,000 each. Just make sure you apply by the deadline each year to take advantage of this opportunity. Likewise, each year your district makes five vocational grants available for students at local high schools, community colleges, and certification schools for up to $4,000 each. You all know the tremendous feeling of helping a deserving young person further their education. The amount and number of those grants can vary from year to year, so find out what's possible for your club and apply for a vocational grant today. These are a couple of great examples of how district-designated funds funneled from the Rotary Foundation's annual fund, can be put to great use. So now that you can see what an impact 
and doubly so with the use of grants, your donations can make each year to the Rotary Foundation. Let's have some fun and look at how quickly the numbers can add up. Think about it this way. There are about 2,200 Rotarians in our district. If we all committed to donating $1 per day, meaning just over $800,000 annually, we would have $401,500 coming back to us in three years. Which means, if we have $401,500 coming back to our district every year starting three years from now, it's possible that 55 clubs would get $3,650 for community and vocational grants and $200,750 for global and district humanitarian projects. Imagine what $200,000 a year could do. Let's explore a little further the ways you can contribute and what it means for you, your club, and Rotary at large. When you give $100 or more per year to the annual fund, you participate in every Rotarian every year and become a sustaining Paul Harris member. When all members of your club are EREY, your club is recognized on an international level. You become a Paul Harris Fellow when you give $1,000 or more to the annual fund, Polio Plus, or an approved foundation grant. To recognize someone else as a Paul Harris Fellow, you can give $1,000 or more in their name. When you give additional gifts of $1,000 or more to the annual fund, Polio Plus, or an approved foundation grant, you are recognized as a multiple Paul Harris Fellow. You become part of the Paul Harris Society when you commit to contributing $1,000 or more annually to the annual fund, Polio Plus, or an approved foundation grant. When you make a commitment for future gifts of $10,000 or more to the Rotary Foundation, you'll be invited to join the Bequest Society. Are you an accountant, a state lawyer, life insurance agent, wealth planner, or other? You could lend your support to the Rotary Foundation through the Bequest Society by encouraging your clients to give to the permanent fund or by making annual tax-deductible donations to the annual fund. When your accumulative donations reach $10,000, major donors can choose to receive a crystal recognition piece or a major donor lapel pin or pendant. I hope you can see the benefits of a full foundation as a resource for your club's goals in the seven areas of focus as well as a fulfilling way to be a part of all Rotarians joining together to be an effective force for good on this planet. Your donation is just a mouse click away. Visit www.rotary.org forward slash en forward slash donate today. A monthly, quarterly, or annual gift option is available for all online contributions. You can also update your existing recurring contributions. However, for security reasons, changes to your credit card information should be made by phone. Feel free to use the number provided. Take a moment to make a note on your phone or on a notepad of these important links to Rotary International and the Rotary Foundation. And remember, your gifts are tax deductible. Thank you for your time, care, and attention. We hope you and your club will take full advantage of the vast opportunity and great potential presented by maintaining regular gifts to the Rotary Foundation and the subsequent grants your district can provide as a result. And feel free to reach out to any of your fellow Rotarians listed here for questions and further information, as well as your club's foundation chair that should be responsible for all things having to do with the foundation, your club's community service chair to apply for community grants, your vocational chair for vocational grants, and the international chair for all global grants. So make your regular donations, choose your area of focus, apply for your grants, and go do the good work of Rotarians.